Hello everyone. My name is Steve Emerson and I'm the Outbound Product Manager for ITOM Visibility here at ServiceNow. Today I'm going to demonstrate how you can automate fulfillment for Microsoft Certificate Requests with ServiceNow. As of November 2022, ServiceNow's Certificate Inventory and Management provides a holistic solution for discovery, lifecycle management, and fulfillment of DigiCert and Trust, and now Microsoft Certificates. Before I show you the demo, here is a quick overview of how it works. First, we provide you with a single pane of glass for you to visualize Certificate Workflow Automation, which enables you to track automation value over time. Automated workflows begin by submitting requests in the service catalog for new, renew, and revoke. Then, a routing policy processes the requests to Microsoft Active Directory Certificate Services with the option of having an approval before being processed. After that, workflow automation sends the request to Microsoft Active Directory Certificate Services for processing. Once the request is completed, a change request is created to ensure governance of the process. The requested certificate and corresponding certificates from the chain are attached to the task and are stored in the CMDB. Now, on to the demo. To get started with automating certificate fulfillment requests for Microsoft Active Directory Certificate Services, go to store.servicenow.com and search for Certificate Inventory and Management. You will want to install version 2.32 in your ServiceNow instance. We will start our demo in the Employee Center, which is where people can go to to make requests, to submit incidents, to search a knowledge base. And we're going to start by looking at our new taxonomy that we've introduced in the November release. There is a privacy and security topic. And underneath that, we've created a certificate management topic. Underneath there, we have manual and automated. Let's look at the automated service requests. So here we have requests for new, renew, and revoke. Note that the revoke request is only available to users that have a PKI admin role. Exposing this only to the PKI admin role ensures that only the right people can make a request to revoke a certificate. The last thing you want is somebody to mistakenly request this and cause an outage. Let's look at the request for a new certificate. For Microsoft certificates, the first thing we need to do is make sure that we choose internal for the certificate purpose. Now, in this case, it defaults to internal. Now, prior to November, we had external as an option. That was to be used for DigiCert and Entrust, since those are external certificate authorities. Since Microsoft CA is an internal CA, we have added a new purpose there. The next thing we do is we paste in the certificate signing request or the CSR. If we scroll back up, on the right hand side we see there's immediate validation as soon as we click out of that box as to what we are requesting. Perhaps we have pasted in the wrong CSR and at this point we can go find the right one before we continue. Everything looks good. We'll scroll down. We have the ability here to select an application, an application service or an application server that this certificate will support. Uh, later on, once you run a certificate discovery, all of this information will be automatically discovered and related to the certificate anyway. Now here we have the option to choose a certificate owner group. I'm gonna go ahead and choose certificate owners. This is the group that will own the certificate. This is where the tasks will be sent to when there is a need to renew that certificate 60 days prior to expiration. I'll choose an owner as myself. This owner is who gets assigned as the assigned to on the CMDB CI record. We can select the environment that this certificate is going to support, as well as what type of tasks do we want to create 60 days prior to expiration. Priority one tasks are for your certificates that are most critical to your business. Priority three tasks are everything else, essentially. Or you have the option to choose do not create renewal tasks. Perhaps this is a one-time use certificate for a project. We're going to go ahead and change this to create priority threes and submit. So as soon as we submit that, we see that it has automatically triggered a new automated flow for Microsoft CA request. We've got the serial number. And we see that a change request was created at the same time. We see that the certificate along with the certificate chain has been attached to the task. 
So this request is now complete in just a matter of seconds. Let's go ahead and take a look now at the request for more information. Here is the request that we just submitted. That request turned into this automated task. As part of the automated task, we see that it was related to a certificate. This is essentially the CMDB CI. There is now a CMDB CI in the unique certificates table for this certificate. And I'll show you that in a moment. We see that the certificate along with the certificate chain have also been attached to this task. This means that the person who requested this can now go ahead and deploy this certificate to the appropriate host or hosts. We see all the information about the certificate that we requested. You can verify one more time that it matches up. And if it wasn't right, you could go ahead and request a revoke uh, at this point. Um, and then at the bottom here, we see that a normal change request was created because this was a request for a new certificate. Let us take a look now at the certificate record in the CMDB. Once again, we see the subject common name. We see the valid from, the valid to dates. We see that this was automatically assigned to Steve Emerson because I chose that on the certificate request form, as well as the change group, which was the certificate owners that I chose. I also chose to create priority three tasks for the renewal. So 60 days prior to an expiration of this certificate, I will receive a priority three task to go ahead and action. With the November release, we've also added this new tab called Certificate Chain. So for any CMDB Certificate CI uh, form, you can click on that and see what is the chain information for that certificate. Now that we've seen the process for requesting a new certificate, let's look behind the scenes to see how that request was processed. We're going to go to our routing policy. So we bring up the Microsoft CA routing policy that I've created. This is the logic that processes the requests that are submitted. It looks at the contents of the CSR along with some other variables like environment and of course purpose. Now this one here is for Microsoft. You could have multiple routing policies per CA or you could have multiple routing policies for across different CAs. Now in this case here, the reason why I only have one routing policy for Microsoft is because I have a wildcard policy where I can submit any domain I wanted to. If you have specific domains that you want to process differently, perhaps for certain domains you want to always require an approval, you can do that. Finally, in our November 22 release, we've also introduced the ability to specify a specific mid-server for a routing policy. This is for reachability purposes or for sharing the load amongst mid-servers. Now that we've seen the process to request a new certificate and how certificates are processed with the routing policy, let's look at the process to request a certificate revoke. We are back in our service catalog on the employee center. Here we see the three requests once again. Uh, I'll do the revoke request in just one second here, but just wanted to note that the renewal request is very similar to what I showed you on the new request, with the only difference being that you need to choose an existing certificate rather than starting from scratch. Now let's look at the certificate revoke. Now once again, this is only available to those that have a PKI admin role in service now to prevent any kind of accidental certificate revocations. The first thing we need to do is choose an existing certificate. Let's pick the one I just submitted and we need to put a reason in here. So perhaps the project ended early and we want to just uh, revoke it because we no longer need it. Project ended. Once we click submit, we'll be prompted one more time if, just to make sure that we wanna go ahead and, and submit this request. If we bring up the task that was created for this automated action, we see that it was related to that certificate and we see that an automated change request was created. We always create emergency changes by default out of the box with any revocations. You can change the properties of this if you'd like, but out of the box, we create an emergency change so that you can have your emergency cab go ahead and process that through their process. Let's take a look at the certificate details. We can see that the state is now revoked and it is also revoked on the Microsoft CA. Now that you've seen the process to request a new and revoke, let us take a look now at the dashboard. So here we have a single pane of glass dashboard for you to visualize your automated flow tasks, as well as how many tasks you've done over time. Here are the current open, new, renew, and revoke tasks. Notice how they're all zero. That's because we are using automation. If you were doing the manual process, you would see a lot of numbers here. Uh, the only reason why these might be open 
still uh, is if we're perhaps waiting on an approval. Here you can see the task automation trends. So you could start to show your, your leadership how much time you're saving by automating more and more certificate requests over time. And then down here on the right, you can see that we have our tasks by CA. So I showed you Microsoft. I have separate videos for Entrust and DigiCert here on YouTube. So if you use those technologies, go check them out. We just saw how you can automate fulfillment of new, renew, and revoke requests for Microsoft certificates using ServiceNow. In doing so, you will be able to prevent outages from expired certificates, reduce time and effort with automated processes, establish governance procedures, and reduce risk and improve the customer experience. Now, certificate inventory and management is included with ITOM Visibility, which is a suite of products that enable you to gain visibility of your entire estate and populate your CMDB, which is that single source of record for configuration data of everything in your environment. It helps you manage what you know. To learn more about ITOM Visibility and how it can help your organization, please reach out to your ServiceNow account team. Thank you for watching and have a great rest of your day.